Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Users. So today I'm going to show you uh, some few things about the combo box, okay? We're going to see how you can add, how you can select and how you can remove items from a combo box. So this is basically what we're going to do. You can see we have a combo box right here, it's empty, okay? But we want to add things dynamically, we want to, I want that if I click the button I add, if I select I select, if I remove I remove. So you can see it is empty when I click button it first adds one okay the second one the third one and we can add many of them okay so uh, if I select okay you can see okay so we're going to see how you can add how you can select and how you can remove so that you can apply it in your own application. For example, uh, le let me remove five. Let me select five. Then I click remove. Okay, you can see it removes five. Like if I want to remove seven, I click remove. It removes seven. If I want to remove one, it removes one. Okay. So uh, far up your IDE. Here we see how we can do it. I'm using Visual Studio. We're going to start from scratch. So control shift N to bring the new project window. Then I'll call it a uh, combo box. Okay, here it is. Now, uh, very fast, I'll just change its background color. I just want it to be exactly the same. Okay, that is the background color. Then I'll bring a combo box over here. Then I'll bring a button. copy paste it okay now uh, the button one I will call it add button we'll put over there add for adding items to the combo box and then uh, the name we'll call it add btn now for button two the name will be remove okay remove btn then uh, the text property will set to remove so uh, very fast if you go to add okay add button what we're going to do we're going to add so what we're to add let me comment add items to combo now to add an item to combo it's very simple just say combo box one dot items this will give you an array okay and then you use the add method to add for example uh, in my case I will I'll want to add for example number and then plus okay I now this I, I'll just uh, declare it up here and initialize it I is equal to zero. Then uh, when the person clicks the button, I'll increment the I. Okay, so I'll just say I is equal to I plus is equal to one. Okay, it's just the same as saying int I i is equal to i plus one so this will be incrementing the button in fact we can test out it will be adding items to the combo box now when i click okay you can see number one okay two okay so uh let's come and put the 
uh, for selecting now for selecting just uh, just double click the combo box item uh, by default uh, it will take the combo box selected index change okay now what we want to do is that when somebody selects something from the combo box we want to display it so we just say message box dot show and then that item that has been displayed combo box one dot text that's what basically what we want to display okay now uh, so far uh, we'll now come to the remove button double click it now we want that when somebody clicks this uh, button we remove an item okay we remove the item that has been selected okay so first of all we have to make sure that the combo box is not empty and something is selected so we say if combo box dot items dot count is greater than zero okay just to make sure that first of all the combo box is not empty and not okay string dot is null or empty and then in that string we pass combo box dot text okay so that any time something is selected uh, we have to make sure that it is empty else message box dot show nothing so uh, what we'll come here to do is very simple we we'll just say combo box okay dot items dot remove and then we'll just remove uh, whatever was selected over there as long as it is not empty dot combo box one dot text okay so that's it guys uh, let's see it running so here we have our empty combo box we can add a couple of items okay now let's say for instance i want to remove three that is selecting okay then if i click remove it removes three if i want to remove four it selects it then if i click it removes it okay if i want to remove eight you just click remove okay so guys i hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial it was a short one for beginners please uh if you don't mind you can subscribe to this channel you can comment on this video you can like it you can share it okay take care see you next time